We are back with Strat First Kit Part 3. We've taken our Bex Gears kit and we've got it all polished up, assembled, and now we're going to play test it alongside a factory fender strap. Stay with us till the end for the reveal of the final cost. All right, what are these for again? Ooh. Those are called <clears throat> string trees. And they didn't drill on here where exactly to put them. So I'll figure that out by the string space. Okay. And usually what it is, it's because these strings that are further out yeah. than over here, what happens is if you string it from here to here, it doesn't get enough downward neck tension oh, to okay. really stay in tune and in place. So what that does is that adds a tension point here so it actually has a lower angle. Gotcha. It helps it match what these look like. Okay. And so usually you put them in and this goes on one side, this goes on the other, and then if they put two in, it's this yeah, one. Yeah, there's this two. One. Yeah. I think if you look at my strat up there, it's got one. The blue and white. Oh, here, yeah. There you go, yeah. Okay, now we're getting nice, right? That should be those. This should be all. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes and brace the blast. <laughs> Sleepless nights and headaches stack. Restlessness. That wasn't even a joke. I know that was a Slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta die. A little bit. A little bit. Actually, no, no, right? Okay. Here, here, here. This one? We're broken, it's tragic. We're not all elastic, but maybe there's magic. Believe you could have it. And I know of sadness, the anxious and panic, the infinite vastness of all that is blackness. Now, when I do this, especially when they're not, go with this bigger.
Okay, it is all put together and I've got it set up with some Diodero 10 gauge strings. I've got it at 12th fret on the low, excuse me, on the high E, it's at uh, 1.25 millimeters. And at the low E, it is at two. So that's nice low action. And to compare that to the factory strat, it's just a whisker higher, but I can always get this one to drop a bit lower if I need to. These are all the products that I used in the finishing of this guitar. I've accounted for the cost of most of it so far, but I need to add on uh, quite a few different uh, sanding pads and different grits as I work my way up, as well as the uh, polishing pads, some polishing compound, and uh, also adding on that set of strings. That brought the total up another 32.25, which brings us up to The fretboard this came with is actually a manufactured wood with a black dye in it. So you want to be careful when you're sanding around the edges on the neck is that some of that black dye wants to come off and get itself worked into the sanding of uh, the lighter colored wood. This buffing pad is actually that dark color because of buffing the neck. So you can see how much of that is coming off. The taxing kits and the Bex Gears kits both come with this type of a fretboard on their strap models. And this is sort of a comparison of the factory. You can see it's actually rosewood. The only difference really between the two is kind of fill. Uh, I did a lot of polishing and sanding on this and to try to smooth it up a bit, but it just doesn't quite have the same feel to me that um, a tone wood fretboard does. It's probably just more a preference. I don't think it makes a difference in sound but we'll we'll see when we play them both so far in all my play testing i've really noticed the biggest difference between these two has been the neck thickness uh, the kit has a much thicker neck and it's a little bit of a i think this is a c profile it's definitely a thinner neck that came on the squire so it took a moment to get used to playing it but once i got the hang of it i really gotta say i kind of like what i've done here with this um you know i'm not got a whole lot of money into it but it actually to me feels and sounds almost exactly like this. I really can't tell a whole lot of difference other than what I've pointed out is the fretboard does feel a little different playing on it. All right, let's get a little sound test going on here. So I've got uh, both these are set up going through the same amp, zero effects. I've got the volume knobs 10, tone knobs zero. Both are tuned to E standard flat. And I've got a little meter over here, so let's just kind of go through. Really don't hear much in the way of difference. And at the 12th. Pretty close. Okay, let's do a low E sustain, starting with the factory. I'm watching my timer right here. Yeah, still going. 10 seconds, 11, I think it's gone now. Okay, let's try this one. That was a little bit, all right. Do this right on the money. Still going. Wow, I really feel like I had more sustain. We're going to try that twice. Still going. Oh, 
put this mic down here to see if it maybe even catch this. Okay, let's try a high E factory strat. <laughs> And it's gone. Kind of close. Uh, I felt like this one, the lower frequencies had a bit of edge of sustain over this one, but in the higher frequencies, this is about the same. I did my best to pluck them both all the same way, but uh, you know, it's not exactly a scientific test, but it's more of an example. This is with all pickups engaged. Hmm. I don't know. Sounds pretty close. Sounds pretty close. That seemed like a pretty close test. Let's do some noodling around on the guitar a little bit. Let's just see how it handles. Thank you. 